Hey, this is Justin. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for watching. Uh, last week I didn't go fishing. I was visiting family. Actually, I did go fishing, but I was visiting family back in Missouri and um, went unplugged. Didn't take the video camera and uh, it was kind of refreshing to go out fishing without having to worry about footage and uh, all of that. So uh, I had a good time. Nothing worth really posting. I did catch uh, one evening before some storms caught about 25 bass in an hour and 15 minutes or so so that was fun nothing big a lot of dinks uh, 10 11 12 inches but it was fun fishing so but I did want to uh, report to you about some uh, awesome lures I've, I've got um, and some of those uh, were given to me by my stepfather and so I'm excited about that and uh, the old cat here is Jack's enjoying the, the time together as I wait for my family to return from vacation as well. I came back a little bit early for, for work. So anyway, let's talk about some lures because we all like talking about lures when we're fishing. All right, so Jack and I here are checking out some new lures. Uh, the first thing I want to show you is I got uh, this cool swim bait and that's going to represent a golden shiner in Newcastle Reservoir. I'm hoping to catch a hog wiper hybrid bass with that. So what do you think about that Jack? Don't bite it. Similar lines, the golden shiners in Newcastle. Going to resemble that. That's a Oh, Rapala floating minnow, similar to it as well. Not too far from that is another lipless crankbait. Casts far and retrieves quickly. You can jig it. One of my favorites. That's got a nice golden sheen to it, big red eye. This is unavailable to the public. This is a homemade lure designed by my cousin and uh, again it's it's gonna be a floating minnow type lure like your Rapala but this is gonna be similar to a golden shiner that is the bait fish in Newcastle Reservoir so I'm looking forward to throwing that. That'll catch this lure and it comes in various designs that he's done it will catch just about any fish out there there's a chartreuse one there's a little one for trout in the spring and winter and this one is a little suspended it's got some suspend dots in there so these are his Ozark Ed's home design and uh, great for fishing. They will catch anything. Bass, bluegill, crappie, trout, white bass, just about anything. I've even caught channel cat on them before. I did break the bill of my baby one minus from man, so my stepfather had an extra one, so I grabbed one of those. I'll probably take a Sharpie and make it a little bit redder and then I'll use that a little bit more this spring in April and early May. Similar but not exactly chartreuse and brown for muddy water should that occur. Doesn't happen that often out here in the west, a lot of clear lakes, uh, but this is a nice square bill that would provide similar action. In that type of water. Now this one's another one of my cousins but it's a little bit thicker. A little bit thicker design. Um, nice strong wobble and uh, I'm excited about fishing this one. I'm going to use this to, to target wipers as well whether that would be at Minersville or at Newcastle. And then last but not least Another one to target wipers. You can tell what I like to catch. Uh, this is going to be the old topwater, walk the dog type 
type lure, and again, that's going to represent a golden shiner in Newcastle Reservoir. So I'm hoping to catch me a double digit wiper this year, maybe with some of those lures. Anyway, uh, that's the big haul from this week visiting family. Got some new lures to try out this spring, all for free, so uh, that's pretty exciting. Um, anyway, Jack and I wish you luck in your spring fishing endeavors. Until then, tight lines.